Swifty Cottage magazine know and love so well. Brought to you by Swift and Company, makers of Swift, Clean, and Frank, Archie Andrews, and all the can. For your guarantee of perfection, Swift's premium pranks now come to you cellophane wrapped in handy one-pound packages. Made fresh daily in Swift kitchens from coast to coast, Swift's premium pranks are then wrapped in the new handy sanitary flavor saver pack and brought to you at the very peak of their tantalizing flavor with all their natural goodness sealed in. So kids, tell your mom that you want Swift's premium pranks. And mom, get some today. They're delicious. And you'll be glad to know that Swift's premium francs are economical. There's no waste to them. Every bite is all nourishment. Dinner quality meat. Ask for them today. Swift's premium francs in the sanitary one-pound package. And now for our weekly visit to Riverdale. It's Saturday morning as we look in on the Andrews home. We find Mr. Andrews in the living room reading his newspaper. And so my little girl came over to me and said, Jerry, you know, this is good. <laughs> and you went to do this severe stumble over you. <laughs> and she said, Mommy, is that the proper thing to do? <laughs> oh, those oh, kids. Eh? Yes, dear. Fred, there's something I want to ask you. Yes, dear. Fred, I'd like to have the living room wallpapered. Yes, dear. Fred Andrews, are you listening to me? Yeah. Oh, oh yes, yes, dear. Yeah, you said you wanted the wrong wall, the, the, the living room. Wallpaper? Mary, what are you talking about? Wallpaper in the living room. What's wrong with it now? Well, Fred, there's something so cold and plain about a painted room. I think wallpaper would be so much warmer. Well, call a paper hanger and get an estimate, dear. Then we'll see. I already did. Good. I... You what? I already got an estimate. They only want $50 to do the room. $50? $50? Mary, what are they going to paper the room with? Dollar bills? Well, Fred, don't be silly. $50 is cheap. Cheap? Mary, I could wallpaper that room myself for one-tenth of that. Yourself? You heard me. Mary, if you want that living room wallpapered, I'll do it myself in an hour. But, Fred, now, I... No buts about it, Mary. I'm going to do that job, and that settles it. But I already called the paper hanger. They'll be here in an hour. Good. I... You've already called the paper hangers without asking me. Oh, Fred, I didn't think you'd mind. And... Well, it so happens I do mind, dear. So you can just uncall them again. Oh, dear. All right, if you insist. I do insist. Do you have the paper picked out? Yes, it's down at Johnson's Paint and Wallpaper Store. All right, I'll send Archie down for it right now, and I'll do the job this morning. Archie! 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 Calling me, Dad? Uh, yes, Archie, come down here. Okay, Dad, be right there. Now, Mary, as soon as Archie gets to... Uh, oh, hello, son. Archie, Hi, I'm... Mom. Uh, Archie, oh, I... Oh, that isn't it, Dad. Yes, Archie, but there's something I want to say to you. Do you mind? Keep it that. I don't mind. Thank you. You're welcome. Archie! Okay, Dad, Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to wallpaper the living room this morning, and... You really are? Yes, Archie, I are. I, I mean, I am. Now, I want you to run down to Johnson's paint store and pick up the wallpaper. Run down to the store? But, Dad, I'm waiting for a phone call from Veronica. She said she'd call this morning. Archie, it'll only take you a minute, and if Veronica calls while you're gone, I'll ask her to call back. Well... And I'll give you 50 cents to run the air. It's a deal. All right. I just asked for the wallpaper Mrs. Andrews ordered. Okay, Dad, and be sure and tell Ron to call back. Yes, Archie, I will. <sighs> now, Mary, all we have to do while Archie is gone is move some furniture out of the way, then I'll be all ready to go ahead on the papering by the time Archie gets back here. All right, dear, if you say so. I do say so, Mary. This job will be over and done with in one hour, and you'll thank me for a wonderful job. You mark my words. <laughs> furniture in the center of the room. Uh-huh. Now, if Archie just got back here with the paper, I'll be all set. Oh, he'll be back any minute, dear. I think... Hmm. Who can that be? 
Hello? Hello, Dad. This is Archie. Oh, hello, son. How are you? Uh, Archie, where the dickens are you? At the paint store. Well, what are you doing there? You should be home by now. Well, I happened to mention to Mr. Johnson that you're putting up the wallpaper yourself. And he said, what with? What with? Hmm. Uh, oh, good grief. Gee, I'm glad you mentioned that. We'll need some paste, won't we? Uh-huh. He said you need about a gallon. Well, all right, Archie. Get a gallon of paste. Tell him to charge you. Okay. But, Dad. Yes? He says you'll need a big brush to put the paste on with. Uh, hmm. I suppose I do. Well, all right. Get a brush. Charge that, too. Okay. But, Dad. Yes? He says you'll need another kind of brush for smoothing out the paper after it's on the wall. Hmm. I suppose I will. All right, Archie. Get the other kind of brush. Okay. But, Dad. Archie, what else? Well, he also showed me a special kind of knife for trimming the edges. Oh, me. All right, get the knife. There's a special ladder to stand on. The only ladder we have is the big one for fixing the roof. Oh, great. Well, Archie, look. Get everything Mr. Johnson says to get and put it on the bill. And hurry up. Okay, Dad. Be home in two minutes. But, Dad. What now? Has Veronica called? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Bye. That was Archie, dear. Seen there are a few little extra things I need to do the job properly. Yes, I gathered that. But, Fred, really, wouldn't it be cheaper to pay the paper hangers to do it? You're practically spending the whole $50 now. Now, Mary, let's not start that again. I am going to pay for that. Oh, now who can that be? I'll get it. All right. Oh, good grief, Jughead. Oh, you expect two men Barkley? <laughs> no, Jughead. Come in. Come in. Jughead. Oh, hello, Miss Sanders. She was. What happened to your living room? Oh, nothing, Jughead. We've just moved the furniture out of the way because Mr. Andrews is going to wallpaper the room. Wallpaper? She was what for? Oh, well, because it needs it. Wallpaper makes the room look warmer and cozier. And besides, the paint is cracked and chipped in several places. Gee, some paint chipped off in our living room the other day. Did your father repaint it? No, he just hung a picture of my Uncle Herman over it. <laughs> Oh, fine. But he wanted to hang my Uncle Herman instead. <laughs> Jughead, you should talk. Dad, yeah, I'm home, I guess. She was Jughead. Who'd you expect? Dewey and Warren? <laughs> Jughead, switching parties did not improve that joke. Now, be quiet. Archie, did you get everything? I sure did, Dad, and it came to $38. How much? $38? Now, what did I tell you, Fred? That's almost as much as a paper hanger wanted to do the job. But now, Mary, Mary, just, uh, just look at all the tools I'll have left over. We're still saving money. Sure, Mom. I got an awful lot of stuff here. Gallon of paint. Yes. Two big brushes. Yes. A wallpaper knife. Yes. And a ladder. And a ladder. Yep, everything you want. Yep, everything you... Archie. Yes, Dad? There's one little item you have forgotten. Hmm, what's that, Dad? Wallpaper. Oh, I got that right here. Wallpaper. Yes, wallpaper. Oh, boy, I forgot it. He had it all wrapped up for me on the counter, and I never took it. Archie, Archie, look, never mind the details of how you forgot it. Just go back there and get it. Go back? Oh, but, Dad, I'm waiting for that. Archie, it's your own fault that you forgot it, and I can't wallpaper a room without wallpaper. Gee whiz. Uh, Jug, how about you running down there for me? Not me. I'm tired. Gee whiz. Okay, Dad. I'll go back and get the paper. But I don't know how I got into this anyway. That boy... He'd forget his name if you didn't call him every two minutes. Well, I suppose I can set up all this junk while I'm waiting for Archie to get the paper. That's a good idea, Fred. I'll be in the kitchen if you want. All right, dear. Oh, oh come on, Jughead. Give me a hand with this stuff. We get the bucket of paste open and the brushes unwrap. Who can that be? Uh, Jug, you start opening those things while I answer the phone. Huh? Okay. Hello? Oh, hello, Miss Andrews. This is Veronica. Oh, hello, Veronica. Is that you? No, Veronica, he isn't, but he'll be back in a minute. Could he call you back? Well, I suppose he could, but I want him to come over to see a new dress I just got. Oh, I see. You know, I have to go downtown and meet my mother in a little while, but... Oh, I know why. Yeah? I'll stop by on the way downtown and show Archie my dress there. Oh, all right, Veronica. I'll tell Archie that you'll stop by. All right, Mr. Andrews. Thanks ever so much. Bye now. Bye, Veronica. Thanks ever so much. Bye now. Mr. Andrews, I'm going to... That's Veronica. Mr. Andrews... That phony southern roll. Mr. Andrews, you... What Archie sees in her, I'll never know. Mr. Andrews. Well, Jughead, what is it? Well, you know that bucket of paste you asked me to open? Yes. You're standing in it. 
<laughs> Jughead, don't you think I know that... Do... What? Standing in it? Oh, no. Jughead, why didn't you tell me? I was trying to, but you didn't give me... Oh. Fred, you're standing in the page. Mary, I am aware of that. I didn't see the oh, bucket and... Fred, don't take you... Don't you dare take your foot out of there. Huh? I'll, you'll get paste all over the floor. Uh, Jughead, go out in the kitchen and get a rag for Mr. Andrews' foot. Okay. okay. Mary, I can't stand in this paste oh, all day. I got the I... paper and I... Gee, Dad, what are you doing standing in the paste? <laughs> Archie, I am not standing in the paste because I wanted to. I didn't see the bucket. Fred, and... keep your foot in that bucket. Mary, this paste is cold and it's wet. And... Oh, good. All right, Fred. You can take your foot out now. Well, thank you. Oh, good grief. Look at that. Oh, about half the paste is gone now. Yeah, it's all in your shoe. Gee, Fred, here's what big feet you have. Yes, Jughead. I have big feet. All the better. Fred? To... Oh, all right, dear. All right. Archie, you'll have to go and get some more paste. We'll never have enough now. More paste? But, Dad, I want... Archie, there's no sense crying over spilled paste. It was an accident that couldn't be helped. Now, just go back down to the store and buy some more. Gee whiz, okay. I'll go get some more paste. But this is the last time I'm going down to that store. Yes, dear. Now, Fred, clean up your shoe, and hereafter, watch where you're going. Well, Mary, the way you talk, you think I Fred, did... Fred, I... I don't have time to argue now. I'll be in the kitchen if you want. Oh, Grace. Well, come on, Jughead. I better get started. Hand me that pair of scissors. Scissors? Yes, scissors for cutting the paper. Oh, okay. Here you are. Thank you. Now, I'm just going to roll a long piece of paper right on the floor. Like that. Now, hand me the yardstick, and I'll measure off about nine feet of paper. Okay. Three, six, nine. All right, now here is where we cut it. Jughead, you hold it flat on the floor while I cut. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to this job. Just be careful. Ooh, I cut it straight. Just follow this line of roses right across. And I'm almost through. Just one more snip and there. There we are. Now, Jughead, see how easy it was? Mr. Andrews? Yes, Jughead. Well... You know when you put the paper flat on the floor so you could cut it? Yes. You didn't. Okay, what are you talking about? The wallpaper was right on top of that scatter rug. Well, what difference does that make? <gasps> scatter rug? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, Jughead. Did I... Uh-huh. Right in half. Oh. Oh, no. How's it going? Fred, what's that you're holding? Half a rug. Oh. All right, for a minute there, I thought... Cut a rug! Cut whose rug? Your rug. Oh, no. Fred, that's my favorite scatter rug. It's your scattered now. Now, Mary, I... It's could... ruined, absolutely well, Mary, ruined. I... I've had that rug for years. Mary, I... My mother gave it to me when we got married. Mary, I... Oh, look at it. Divorced. Look, <laughs> would you keep out of this? Fred, how could you do a thing like that? Mary, look, I'll buy you a new rug, dear, oh. but just stop that crying. Oh, you'd cry, too, if somebody cut your... A new rug? Yes, dear, a new rug. Why, Fred, how sweet. I've been wanting a new rug for that longest time, and I know where I can get a lovely new rug for only $15. $15? Oh, but Mary, and I... I can sew this one together again and put it in the bag. Yeah, but Mary, I... Oh, me. What's the use? You can't win. You just can't win. I better just try to get this job over and done with in a hurry. Jughead, hand me that paper. Oh, great. Hello? Hello, Mr. Andrews. This is Betty. Oh, hello, Betty. Is uh, Archie home? No, Betty. Oh, that's a shame. I thought he might want to go swimming. Well, I... It's an awfully nice day for swimming, don't you think? Yes, but I... I bet everybody's out at the lake today. Betty. I just love swimming, don't you? Betty, I... Hi, Mr. Andrews. You're not saying very much. Uh, Betty, look, I will say something if you'll just give me half a chance. Archie is not home, and I am not interested in swimming or anything else because I'm trying to wallpaper the living room. Oh, you are? Yes, I... Golly, I helped my father wallpaper the kitchen last year. Isn't it fun? Betty, I... Can I come over and help? Well, bl- Oh, thanks, Mr. Andrews. I'll be right over. No, 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 no. Wait, Betty, wait. Betty, hello. Oh, great. Oh, that Betty... Sometimes she can be... Jughead, what are you doing? Wallpapering. Wallpapering? 
Jughead, did you get those two, two strips of paper cut and pasted on the wall while I was on the phone? Yeah. Why, Jughead, that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. One, one, mm. something wrong, Miss Andrews? Jughead. Yeah? Uh, don't those roses look just a little droopy to you? Droopy? Yes, droopy. Well, they are sort of. Hanging down, aren't they? Yes, Jugger, they they sort of are. Well, maybe when the paper dries, the roses will straighten up. Jughead, they will not straighten up. The reason they look droopy is because you hung that paper upside down. Now, how could that have happened? Oh, Jughead, I don't... Dad, I got the paper. Oh, good. Now, Archie, all you have to do is go back to the store and get some more wallpaper. Oh, that's all... That's... What? That's right, Archie. Because your friend, who was most aptly named Jughead, just hung two strips of wallpaper upside down. We now do not have enough paper to finish the room, and you'd better go and get some more. But, Dad, I'm still waiting for that phone call from Veronica. Uh, Archie, Veronica called and said she'd stop by here in a little while to show you a new dress or something. She will? She will? Yes, she will. Hmm. Now, if you'll just take one more trip to the store, I'll give you a dollar instead of 50 cents. That's a deal. But if Veronica gets here, be sure and tell it away. Yes, Archie, I will. <sighs> Now, maybe I can get on with this job. Jughead, hand me that... Oh, never mind. Great. Never mind, Jughead. Hello, Mr. Andrews. Here I am. Yes, I see that. But why? Well, you asked me to help. Don't you remember? I asked you to... Oh, fine. Uh, Betty, look there. I didn't ask you to help, but now that you're here, maybe I can use your help. Well, I've been getting no place fast, so maybe if you and Jughead and I form a sort of assembly line, we can get something done. Oh, sure, sure. I'm not so sure, but... Anyway, Jug, you cut the paper, and Betty, you put the paste on it, and I'll answer the door as usual. Hello, Mr. Andrews. Oh, hello, Mr. Sherry. Well, what's going on here? Oh, I'm wallpapering the living room, Mr. Sherry, but I'm having a little trouble. Trouble? Now, why should you have any trouble? I wallpapered my living room a few months ago, and I didn't have a bit of trouble. You didn't? Mr. Sherry, how did you do it? Well, first thing I did was to get out all the equipment. Uh, the brushes and scissors and knives. Yeah. And then when everything was all set, I went down to the grocery store. Oh, the grocery store? Uh-huh. To get the new handy one-pound package of Swift's Premium Franks, wrapped in cellophane for your convenience and protection. Uh, Mr. Sherry, did you pay to your living room with Franks? Of course not, Mr. Andrews. I used wallpaper. But the reason I went to get the Franks is that when you're doing a difficult job like that, you need a good substantial lunch. And there's no finer lunch than those plump, delicious Swift's Premium Franks made of all dinner-quality meat. Swift-quality meat. Uh -huh. So I made sure the grocer gave me Swift's Premium Franks in the new sanitary flavor saver pack that seals in all the natural goodness. Uh -huh. I even explained to him that one reason I insist on Swift's Premium Franks is that they're made close to where they're sold, made fresh daily in Swift kitchens from coast to coast, so you know they're always fresh whenever or wherever you buy them. Yeah, uh -huh. And then when I got home, I had a wonderful lunch of that delicious pork and tender beef skillfully blended into each wonderful Swift's Premium Frank. Uh, yes, Mr. Sherry, but what about the wallpapering? Oh, that... Well, while I was out shopping, my wife finished the whole room and there wasn't a thing for me to do. Oh, fine. No wonder you didn't have any trouble. But I still think I know how it's supposed to be done, Mr. Andrews. Can I be of any help? No, thanks a lot, Mr. Sherry, but with Jughead and Betty here, well, I have all the help I need. Oh, well, then I'll run along, Mr. Andrews. I hope it turns out all right. Yes, Mr. Sherry, I'm hoping too. Bye now. Goodbye. Oh. Maybe Mr. Sherry's wife can wallpaper a room that quickly, but if I don't get busy, I'll never keep it. Jughead, what's this? What's what? what that, that wall. You and Betty got it all papered. Uh-huh. While you and Mr. Sherry were talking, we got busy and finished one whole wall. Why, Betty, that's wonderful. That's terrific. That's... Uh, that's funny. What's funny? Well, that wall. What about it? Well, I could swear there used to be a window in it. A window? A window? Yes, uh, a window. You kids papered right over a window. I didn't paper over any window, I think. Neither did I, I think. Somebody did. There was a window right about there. Yeah, I got the paper. Well, gee whiz, you got that whole wall done already? Yes, Archie, the whole wall. Gee, that's terrific. But you know something, Dad? 
Wallpaper makes this room look darker somehow. Uh, Archie. Yes, Dad? Uh, the room looks darker because Betty and Jughead papered right over the window. Over a window? He was how they do that. I haven't the faintest idea. Well, it's nothing to worry about, Dad. Just cut the paper off where it covers the window and everything will be all right. Yes, Archie, but where does it cover the window? Oh, that's easy, Dad. Just thump around on the wall. You'll find it. With that, I'm sorry. I was just thumped. Yeah, thumped. broke the window. Broke the window? Fred, what for? Well, I thought it was a good idea. What? But Mary. <laughs> Mary, it was an accident, of course. The kids papered over it, and Archie was thumping the wall to see where it is. And... He jumped right through it. Oh, dear. Oh, now, 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 Mary, please. <laughs> just go call a glazier to come over and fix that window as soon as you can, and I'll go outside and pick up the pieces. All right, dear. But I have never heard of anyone breaking a window while walking. And neither have I, dear. But, Betty, you get a, a, a broom and a dustpan, please, and bring it outside so we can sweep up the glass. Oh, please. okay, Mr. Andrews. Uh, but, Archie. Yes, Dad? Please, don't throw something, anything else while I'm gone. Okay, Dad. She wish you'd think I did that on purpose, the way my father... He was now, who can that be? Yes? Hello, Archie. <laughs> Y'all, are chicken. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful nice to see you all, Archie. Dear. Oh, yeah. Hey, Veronica. It's nice to see you, too. Come on in. All right, Archie, but I can't stay very long. Oh, hello, Jack here. Hi, Veronica. My goodness. What are you all doing here? Wallpapering the room, Veronica. But never mind about that. Is that a new dress? Uh-huh. Do you like it, Archie? Like it? Mm-hmm. Boy, I'll say I do. It's so... I mean, it makes you look so... That is, it's got such... Well, I mean, it's kind of... Boy, I'll say I do. Oh, Archie, how sweet. You're sure you're not just saying that just to make me feel good? Oh, no, Veronica. I really think it's a wonderful dress. Oh, thank you, Archie. But, Archie, dear, I have to run along now. Oh, do you do, Veronica? Oh, I... I... Veronica, Veronica, look out for that roll of paper, you'll fall. Oh, 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 I got you, Veronica. Oh, boy, he almost tripped. Oh, Archie. My hero. Hey, <laughs> do you really think your father said? Well, isn't that a lovely picture? Uh huh. I always take a lovely look, oh, Betty. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, Betty! I'm sorry if I interrupted anything private. Oh no, Betty. Veronica almost. I don't like the way you said that, Miss Cooper. Oh, you didn't. Well, that's just too bad. Uh, Betty, I, I see no reason for you to act like a little cat. Uh, Veronica, I'm not the cat. Betty, you are. Veronica, please. Oh, is that so? Veronica Lott, for two cents, I'd give you a paste in the mouth. But I do mean paste. Betty, put down that paste, bro. Yes, you try it. Veronica, put down that paste, bro. Oh, boy. All right, I will try it. There. Oh, you hit me. Betty, I was... Well, I'll show you how paste feels. Veronica, don't. I... Oh, you hit me. Oh, boy, what a fight. Betty, I was... Well, I got the glass off. Hey, what's going on here? Just a little war. Listen to me, all of you. This nonsense has gone far enough. Too far, in fact. Yeah, no more paste. <laughs> Deadhead, be quiet. Now, I am really surprised at you two girls fighting like two alley cats. Aren't you ashamed of yourselves? Yes, Mr. Andrews. Yes, Mr. Andrews. All right. Now, I want both of you to apologize and shake hands. But just look at what you did to my new dress. It's ruined. And my new hairdo is ruined. Now, now girls, girls, don't start fighting again. Veronica... I'll buy you a new dress. You will? 
will? I will. And, Betty, I'll pay for a new permanent for you. Oh, golly, thanks, Mr. Andrews. Now, does that settle everything? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Now, for Pete's sake, let's quit all this nonsense and get this wallpaper finished. Dad, Dad. It takes all day for such a simple job. Uh, Dad, I I want it finished right now. Uh, Dad, I... Uh, Well, what is it, Archie? It is all finished. That has nothing to do with... Uh, Finished? Uh Uh-huh. While you were out picking up the broken glass, Jughead got it all done. Well, well, now, how do you like that? That's wonderful. Jughead, thank you very much. Oh, that's okay. Despite all our trouble, we got the job finished in hardly any time at all. <laughs> of course, it didn't turn out as cheap as I thought it would. How much did it cost that? Well, now, let's see. $38 at the store the first time. Then the extra paste, about $4. And the extra paper, a dollar. And you get a dollar. And hey. the window will be about $3. And the rug is $15. And... Veronica's dress is about $25, and a permanent for Betty about $5. What does that come to? A lot. $92. Well, that's only $42 more than the paper hanger wanted. (laughs) But what's the difference? The main thing is the room is finished, and your mother will be happy now. My friend, you're all through. Yes, dear, thanks to the kids. Well, how do you like it? Oh, Fred, I don't. (laughs) What? It's much too fancy. I think paint would be much neater and simpler. Oh, no! you really know what you're getting when you ask for Swift's Premium Franks. Made fresh daily in Swift kitchens from coast to coast so you know they're fresh. Made by Swift so you know they're top quality. Ask for them today. Swift's Premium Franks in the new handy one-pound cellophane package. And while you're at your dealers, be sure to ask for Swift's Brookfield Sausage. Perfect for breakfast, ideal for a quick, easy-to-fix dinner. Swift's Brookfield Sausage is just right. Yes, just right. Not too mild, not too spicy, but seasoned to just right perfection. Ask for Swift's Brookfield Sausage, the sausage with the just right seasoning. And don't forget that your dealer has a tempting variety of Swift's Premium Table Ready Meats. Delicious Swift's Premium Macaroni and Cheese Loaf is being featured this week. It's ready to eat, ready to enjoy. You'll find Swift's Premium Macaroni and Cheese Loaf especially handy for holiday buffet spreads, or for snacks and luncheons anytime. You've been listening to another chapter of The Adventures of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Jampel, and based on the copyrighted feature appearing in Archie Comics magazine. Archie was played by Bob Hastings, Jughead by Harlan Stone. Mom and Dad Andrews are played by Alice Yorman and Arthur Cole. Veronica and Betty by Gloria Mann and Rosemary Rice. This program is produced and directed by Kenneth McGregor. Listen next Saturday when Swift and Company, makers of Swift's Premium Franks, brings you more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. This is Bob Cherry wishing you all a very pleasant weekend. So long. Swift and Company invite you to stay tuned for Meet the Meat, which will be heard immediately over most of these stations. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.